Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean a drive. Basically, how to remove partitions from a drive if you're no longer using it or you want to use it in another system and you're finding it difficult to remove partitions from within Windows. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, it's going to be actually a very straightforward thing, uh, just using actually one command in Windows. can be a little bit scary, so uh, as always, if you're not sure, do your backups first. But otherwise, let's get straight on with it. Okay, so we're on our computer here, so we've got a drive actually attached in a USB caddy. And as we can see here, so this is an old Windows drive, so it's got a Windows installation, there's some unallocated space. We've got our recovery partition section and our UFI boot section. So if you wanted to delete a drive or something generally what you do is you right click here and you choose something like delete volume that kind of thing then you can go over to the recovery partition and there's basically nothing you can do with it so there's various things you can do um, various pieces of software you can use to actually remove those partitions to just basically blank the drive you can on here you can choose various sections to convert to dynamic disk and things you again there's things you can do but what we're going to do is we're going to use the command line and actually just completely erase the drive. Now, what you'll do is click on the start flag and type in command. So CMD, we want a command prompt and right click and choose run as administrator. You will get the user account control come up for the Windows command processor. Just click on yes. And in this section here, what you want to type in is disk part. All one word and then hit enter. And this is basically uh, kind of an old fashioned command line method of changing partitions, deleting drives, cleaning them, etc, etc. So first thing to do is type in list disk and hit enter and then it'll show you the drives in the computer. Now obviously if you select the wrong drive at this point things are going to get really bad very quickly so make sure you know which drive it is. Now in this particular instance because I know that disk zero is my main Windows drive I can tell the difference even though the sizes are extremely closely together as you can see there as in 953 gigabytes versus 931 but disk one is the one we want to do so what we're going to do is do select and disk one oh, sorry space one my mistake so it says there disk one is now the selected disk so what we can do, you could do all sorts of things now. So you could uh, list partitions, all that kind of stuff if you want to. But the simple way, if you just want to actually erase the drive in its entirety, just type in clean and then hit enter. And there we go. This part succeeded in cleaning the disk. So this hasn't done a forensic deletion or anything like that. But as we can see now, if we look in disk management, there we go there as our disk and it is not initialized. So at this point now, you can right click on it. Nothing going on there and right click there. You can do initialize disk and you can format it and partition it and do whatever you want to do. So there we go, nice and straightforward. Obviously it is very dangerous. If you do the wrong things here, you could end up deleting the wrong disk. So make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you've got the right disk selected and all that kind of good stuff. And as always, if you haven't done already, do a backup. It's always worth doing. Anyway, hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you're feeling particularly generous, don't forget to use the super thanks button. We're always uh, grateful for all your donations. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.